is back, Secured Entrepreneurs. You all know there's a whole lot going on back here, but before this evening ends, Miss Aurora has got to debunk some things going on in this clip. And you all know how you love to send Miss Aurora these clips and say, Miss Aurora, what is going on here? What type of information is being spread here? You know, we can't stop people from spreading inf uh, you know, misinformation on these internet streets, all right? So this clip, is of a gentleman who is very popular and he's he's a he's supposed to be a tax professional so i'm totally baffled as to why he's saying some of the things that he's saying in this interview that he had where we get the clip from all right so today mr roy is going to get into just why it is you don't want a revocable trust why it is you don't want to mess around and have any type of revocable trust in the thing. Okay, can we do it? All right, so for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day, and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard that right? Stick around because we know that this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. <music> All right, secured entrepreneurs, I want you to look at this clip. Listen very closely to what this gentleman is saying about a revocable living trust. I bought a property for $200,000 and at the time that I die, it's worth a million dollars. That's an $800,000 gain that my daughter would have to pay taxes on if I didn't have a revocable living trust. The revocable living trust allows my daughter to get that step up in basis. That $800,000 gets stepped up to a million. Now she can turn around and sell a million dollar property and pay no capital gains taxes on it. That's tax-free wealth. And so the revocable living trust is a tool to transfer wealth onto the next heir. What is the difference between a revocable trust and an irrevocable trust. A revocable trust is a trust that you have the combination to the lock. Uh, you can open it back up, put stuff into it whenever you want to, lock it back up, reopen it back up, take stuff back out of it. That's a revocable living trust. It's a place to store assets that you can also take them back out of in your lifetime while you're living. Irrevocable trust means that as soon as you have put stuff into it, that stuff that got put into it got locked at the time that you put it in. And guess what? You ain't got the combination code to unlock it. You can only put stuff in. You cannot take stuff out. And if you try to take stuff out of an irrevocable trust, you are going to pay high estate taxes as high as 40%. If I- All right, you heard it. Now, I wanna, I wanna get on five points in this video. I'm gonna do five points here. So let me start with the fact that a revocable living trust does not provide any real asset protection. A revocable living trust does not really have any, it doesn't come with any type of real asset protection. And the gentleman is saying that he purchased a home for what did he say, $200,000. And he believes that by the time he's done on the planet, that home is going to be worth about $800,000. And his daughter will have access to the property tax free. That is false. Whatever it is that you have a revocable living trust. That means that you are playing the role of both the grantor and the trustee. You might as well have a will because you're going to land in probate court. Your family is going to land in probate court if in fact you don't have an irrevocable trust because the irrevocable trust is the trust that actually comes with all of the tax advantages. So he's saying in the clip that that's tax-free wealth, you know, the daughter won't you know, have to go through all the taxation and all that stuff, but that's false because the revocable living trust. And again, he's saying when he transitions, well, if he transitions being both the grantor and the trustee, once again, that is part of his taxable estate. And more than likely the assets that he is holding in the revocable trust will go through probate. Okay. So I, so, you know, all of the secured entrepreneurs understand all of this, but for the neophyte who would listen to that clip, you, it's all wrong. A revocable living trust does not shield your assets from creditors, lawsuits, <laughs> or any other financial risk because you are retaining control over the assets throughout your lifetime. 
It's not seen as a separate entity from you. So yes, your family will more than likely go through a probate because the things that you have in this revocable living trust is a part of your personal taxable estate. Mr. Aurora can't make this stuff up. So I don't know why this man is saying this in the interview. The second thing that I'm going to point out here is that the revocable living trust has limited privacy. And if privacy is important to you, that's going out the window, especially depending on what state you're in upon your death this trust is going to be made public because as i'm stating your estate will go into probate that's public so if in fact you are attempting to shield your assets from the public the revocable living trust will not cut it it's just not so again i don't know why this man is saying these things in his interview the third thing and i'm going to go here the taxation issues now the gentleman mentioned his daughter was going to be able to get this property tax-free. She doesn't have to worry about all of that. Again, false, because this revocable living trust, the Internal Revenue Service is viewing it as part of your taxable estate. So the property is still subject to estate taxes, and you will not have the ability to create the tax-free wealth the tax-free generational wealth that the gentleman is stating in this interview again i am baffled as to why he is saying this because it is not true the revocable living trust is not assisting you with removing estate taxes from your uh, personal estate it's just not the fourth thing that I'm going to say here is that the revocable living trust that the gentleman is talking about in this interview is not ideal for business owners. As an entrepreneur, you need a structure that is providing you with flexibility as well as protection. And so for that, your Irrevocable trusts and private business trusts are going to be a much better option when it is that you are creating tax-free wealth. You know, you're minimizing your tax liability. You are securing your assets, all right? You need to know that you have a structure that is not only going to shield all of your wealth, all of the tangible assets that you have, all of the business assets that you have, but you, you are assuring that your heirs will come into all of that tax-free. Why? Because none of those things are going to become a part of your taxable estate. As a matter of fact, when you leave the planet, your personal estate should have zero going on with it in it it should nothing should be there everything that you accumulate in your lifetime should belong to some type of irrevocable trust structure so that the individuals the children the great-grandchildren grandchildren all these people that you got in mind okay they have the opportunity to to take over the things that you created, the things that you started without having to worry about going through a probate or paying any taxes, which could be astronomical depending on how large your estate is. Okay, so again, I, I really don't understand why this man said these things in this interview. I'm, I really feel bad, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I just wanna ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, Share the video because we need the right information to go out to all the entrepreneurs of the world, okay? <laughs> Number five, please know that revocability equals vulnerability. The fact that you can revoke anything going on in that entity and you can make as many changes as you would like to make and all that, that is doing nothing but putting all of your assets at risk. That's all that that's doing. And if you transition during the middle or in the midst of all this changing that you're doing, you're causing more of a mess and a problem 
for your loved ones and how many of the secured entrepreneurs have had to go through a mess, a real mess when your husband transitioned, when your wife transitioned, when your child transitioned, when your grandparent transitioned, when your aunt or your uncle transitioned, when your cousin transitioned. I'm telling you, we hear it all the time. Many of you have already been through it. You're going through stuff. You're looking through stuff. You have no idea where anything is. You don't know what the person wanted. You're trying to scrape things together. You're trying to scrape funds together for a funeral. You don't even know if this person had an insurance policy. You don't know what's happening. And then the next thing you know, well, we're just going to do a cremation because that's the cheapest thing. And we have to wait to get into bank accounts. Uh, we have to see how we're going to figure some things out financially because we don't really know what the person had because there were no instructions left. There was, there was nothing going on. And then you get the people who are caught up with the will. You mean to tell me that I have to wait for some probate judge, for somebody to tell me I can occupy my grandmother's house. This has happened to people. It is still happening to people. It is a very real thing, okay? So please understand that revocability equals vulnerability. Do not do it to yourself. And remember, if there's any type of lawsuits, any creditors that are still lurking at the time of your loved ones transitioning or your transitioning, those assets are still up for grabs because this person was playing around with some revocable living trust. Okay. So when he's saying, oh, my daughter's going to have access to this home and she's going to have tax free wealth. If you got somebody out there that's after your stuff, it's not protected. I'm sorry. So that's all Miss Aurora wants to share in this video, those five things, okay? You all know you can join the Sole Proprietor to CEO program. Go down in the description box and click the link for the next session, okay? Because all of these things is what you're going to learn inside of the program, how to structure your business properly from A to Z. Miss Aurora is going to answer all of your questions as it relates to creating these wealth cycles via your business to not only protect your assets, but to grow your business, grow your wealth, and to assure that you are creating the generational wealth that you desire and living the luxury lifestyle that you come up with. Okay. So you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.